Today in the Audio Hotline studio, I'm just going to be covering a real quick tip for you guys. I haven't really made many videos like this, so I don't know exactly what to call it, but um, for now we'll just go with uh, just the quick tip. Let's get tipped. Welcome all audio nerds to the audio hotline. And as I said before today, we're just going to do a real quick video. It's going to be a little tip on uh, how to roll your cables if they look all messed up like this. This video is for you. So this last weekend I was working at this event and I was actually running the sound, running the PA system at this event. I had a couple people helping me take stuff down and I look over and they're winding cables in a way that hurt my soul. <sighs> So I obviously had to teach him the right way like an asshole. So that's what I'm going to do today. <laughs> I don't really know what to call this technique. It's definitely somewhat known. Some of you may know it, but it was taught to me like 16 years ago. And every time that I've been in a band or in a different band, I've taught every single member how to do it correctly. So we weren't dealing with completely messed up cables when we got to the next show. But the cool thing about this technique is that you can literally use it for any cable. It'll work perfectly. It doesn't have to be for an XLR cable. You can use it for your iPhone charger, for literally anything. But just as a quick example, here are a couple wrong ways to wind a cable. Yeah, that's definitely not right. <laughs> I feel like the most common way that I see is this one. The Done. See, but that's the crazy thing. Like, this cable has never been wound a wrong way ever. This is a Mogami cable. I take really good care of it. And I literally winded it wrong two times. And it's already, like, getting all twisted and messed up. It's crazy. All right, now let me just explain real quick how to do it the way that I do it. If you take the cable and you pinch it in between your fingers, like this, right? You got both ends, you got the end with the connector, and just a decent amount right in front of you, however big you essentially want to roll your cable. And then you are going to very simply start twisting forward, like this. And then you're gonna get something like that. And then the next time, all you're gonna do is the same thing, but backwards. So you're gonna twist it, but then you're gonna go back like that and then boom look at that look at that so then you just very simply keep going back and forth with it i didn't say it was going to be difficult i just said it was right and that's essentially how you get a really awesomely rolled up cable but let's go ahead and take a closer look oh yeah give me that good stuff audio hotline guy oh Slow pan in. I like it. Mm -hmm. Bob, do we have that in slow motion? Of course we do, dumbass. We do. Oh yeah, baby. That slow motion. Give it to me, baby. Give it. Come on now. Mm -hmm. That was creepy. I don't like that. So that's the way that I roll cables, and I honestly never have issues with them tangling. I never have any issues at all. And I will also say, I rarely ever have a cable go out on me. Just practice that. It takes a little while to get used to it. It kind of feels weird at first, but then one day it'll just feel so damn right. Like I said before, I don't know what this technique is called. I'm sure it has a name somewhere, but what I call it, because you kind of roll it, you know, you pinch it, you roll it, and then you reverse it, you know? So I, uh, Call it the roll reversal. <laughs> All right, but enough talk about cables. Thanks for watching this episode of the Audio Hotline. Hope it helped you out. Hope you learned something. If you didn't, I hope you at least enjoyed it and had some fun. Thanks to all of my subscribers. You are the best people in the world. And thank you for watching the Audio Hotline. I'll see you, audio and cable nerds, next time.